All right, I think it's time to do some cuts. I'm going to start with the piece of quarter inch MDF and we'll see how that does. We'll start with, uh, let's say I'll just draw a straight line on here manually and we'll adjust the foot. It looks like my foot is actually uh, a little bit bent so I'll have to adjust that at some point but we'll keep going for now. So I got the foot resting on the MDF and then just put, pick it up a little tiny bit just so the piece can freely slide underneath. Tighten down this knob, make sure my tabletop is locked down so that's going to move on me, not move on me. I've got my saw blade tensioned. All right, I think I'm good to go. I'm going to start at the slowest speed and we'll see how we do. Could hear it slow down, but it is indeed cutting. I think what I'm going to do is zoom in so you get a better view of the cut taking place. And we're also going to speed up the saw a little bit. go, I don't know, maybe half speed. Still slows down, but there's no issue cutting the MDF. Pretty easy to see the line. And there you go. There definitely is some tear out, but that could have been the speed at which I was running the saw. Not sure. I'm not an expert scroller. Let's try another cut. Only this time we'll do a curve. So there's the curve I'm going to go for. And this time we'll also speed the saw up a little bit. And we'll see what happens. That's full speed. I'm going to back it off a little bit. Here we go. Still got some tear out, but it did cut obviously faster. The blade was moving faster, but was the material faster? I can tell you it's definitely awkward trying to cut the piece without getting in the way of the camera. Let's try one more, only I'll make the corner cut much steeper, much sharper. This time we'll cut out kind of a shape like that. And we'll go ahead and go up to full speed. Oh, lost my screw for the sawdust. All right, let's try this. Still got some tear out, but it definitely cuts quarter inch MDF with no problem. 
All right, now we're going to try a piece of half-inch particle board, the kind of particle board that's used in real inexpensive put-together-yourself type furniture. So I'm just going to, let's see, I'll just cut the corner off in a straight line. So we'll start with that. Of course, this is thicker, so I have to adjust the height of the foot. I think I do have to uh, straighten out my foot. It seems like it's bent a little bit. It makes adjusting the height even that much more finicky. But we'll keep going for now. All right, so let's start. Since we're cutting a, a thicker piece of material, let's go. Let's go right for full speed. Let's see what happens. Okay, it definitely cut it. I was definitely not on the line, but it got through the wood, the material, no issues. Let's try a curve now. All right, so that's the curve we're gonna go for. We'll keep the speed up there and um, I'll see if I can stay on the line a little bit better. Got through the corner. Can't say I'm really thrilled with the quality of my cutting here. I think I need more practice. There's a little bit of tear out, but it goes through the material with no problem. All right, now we're going to try, it looks like about 7 16 thick, and I believe this is oak. So I had tried this once before and it was able to make a pretty good corner cut. So let's try this again. Make my curve. Something like that. I'm going to adjust the foot. Okay, we're going to go at full speed because the wood is harder, the hardest that we've cut so far. So let's see what happens. Blade must be getting very dull. Let's see what we can do. Nope, it just does not want to do it. I think if I were to continue, I would probably break the blade. So we're going to abandon this wood sample for a bit and we'll try something else. And then we'll come back to this, perhaps with a new blade. All right, now we're going to try a piece of three-quarter inch pine. It's very light. We'll see if this very dull blade can cut it. You can see I did one cut before, and it got through it. Let's see if we can do another one. And make the same sort of corner. And of course, i got to adjust the foot.
We're going to go at full speed because we've got a pretty thick piece of material here. Let's see what happens. I did get through that. It's a little bit of tear out, but otherwise, I would call that a decent cut. All right, so we're going to try another kind of wood, another piece of wood. Not sure what kind of wood this is. You can see I did a kind of a test cut before and was able to cut it just fine. We're going to try it again, see what happens with this very dull blade. So let's let's try and cut this off in kind of a curve to adjust our foot. All right, um, we'll stick with full speed, I think. did cut it a little bit of tear out a little bit of tear out here but it did make the cut and so a couple of observations either the blade is getting very dull or maybe man maybe my tension is too light So I'm going to try another cut with the same piece and see if the change in tension shows any, feels any different. It felt like I had to push the wood harder than I should through the blade. So let's try this again. how hard I have to push it. idea of how hard I had to push the wood through the blade. Still got some tear out there. But it did make it. So I think what I'm going to do now is change the blade and we'll try another cut with a new blade, same piece of wood. Alright, so I'm going to loosen the blade. You can hear the as I go counterclockwise on the tensioning knob, you can hear the pitch of the blade go down. I'm going to take the foot off. Pop the insert out. Remove the blade. 
Now, here's a package of blades I got from Harbor Freight. There's six blades in here, six five inch pinned blades. I think it was five dollars, maybe six dollars. So they're not that expensive. That's how much it was for the package. We'll take a blade out here. Now, this is interesting. This blade is considerably thinner. Let's see. This is the used one. I see. Okay, so this package of blades actually has an assortment. Interesting. Different pitches different widths alright so here's the used one that looks like it's most like this I'm going to put this one in it's roughly the same number of teeth per inch just so we can compare blades the used one versus the new one in a fair way well kind of fair way alright so here's the new one teeth pointed down Tighten the tensioning knob. And go kind of. We'll start off at that tension. Put the insert back in. Put the foot back on. at the good height. I could probably go down a little bit. There we go. Alright. Alright, we're ready to try another curved cut on the same piece of wood, only this time with a new blade. So let's Let's try and make that curved cut. We'll stay at full speed. Here we go. Sounded like the blade kind of set itself into position. Interesting to note. Oh yeah, huge difference. You don't have to push the work through the blade at all, really. Much easier to control it and keep the blade on the line. Even for an amateur stroller like me. Oh yeah, that was a huge difference. Huge difference. So, lesson learned. If you find yourself pushing the wood through the blade too much, it's probably time to change the blade. All right, now that we have a new blade installed in the saw, we'll go back to this piece of oak and we'll see if we can make this corner cut now. So let me just adjust the height of the foot. Okay. We'll stick at full speed. Here we go. bouncing a little bit. Yeah, 
Yep, so got some tear out here. But you can see the difference between trying to cut this piece of oak with a dull blade versus a brand new sharp blade. No problem for the sharp blade. All right, so now I'm going to remove the foot. As I'm wondering, maybe some of you are too. If I'm cutting relatively soft wood, how much do I really need this hold down foot? So let's go back to our trusty piece of three quarter inch pine and we'll put another curved line. So there's my curved line. And we'll try and cut it without the hold down foot and we'll see how the if the piece bounces around or and we'll see how we do. No problem at all. No problem at all. Alright, let's go back and try another cut on the quarter inch MDF without the foot and we'll see what see how this goes. So once again I'll make another curve. There we go. Let's see what happens. it cut so easily I was pretty far off the line let me try and redeem myself here I've got another corner corner cut another line cut let's try this again this time I'll try and stay more on the line even at the risk of getting in the way of the camera a little bit That was better, still not perfect, but better. And very little tear out. So the sharp blade really makes a difference. All right, now we're really gonna give it the acid test. We're gonna try cutting a piece of two by four. Pretty sure this is Douglas fir. Um, we'll be bold and try and cut it without the foot. You can see I've done this once before with a different blade, of course, and I was able to cut the corner. Let's see if we can do it again. So I'm going to make another line, curve rather, and let's see what we do, how we do. bad. I can't say 
too many times over and over again I'm going to say the sharp blade really makes a big difference Bye. Uh -huh.